Welcome back, everybody. The Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center is hosting the 32nd Honolulu AIDS Walk next weekend to support those living with the immune system disease caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. And joining us now is Andrew Ogata. He is the Triple HRC's Director of Marketing and Development. Welcome, aloha. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, well, tell us about the state of uh, HIV and AIDS here in Hawaii. Um, well, you know, here living in Hawaii, we vote, we're very fortunate we don't have the same prevalence of HIV that you see on the continent. And um, for a lot of the reasons why is because we were had like organizations like Life Foundation um, that was started in 1983. We really started the fight against HIV really early on in the epidemic. Um, we also had the very first statewide syringe exchange program um, for the entire country. So we really credit that in our early practices of really curbing the onslaught of HIV in like the late 80s, early 90s. That's good news, uh, but still people continue to suffer with it. Um, but treatment and um, advances in it have made it living with it a little bit easier? Yes. Um, people, we haven't found a cure yet, you know, so um, people are still living with it today. We, we at Triple HRC, um, we case manage a little bit over 700 people living with HIV just on the island of Oahu. And then we are still working for the prevention of new cases of HIV. So we, per, um, we test about a little bit over a thousand people each year for HIV. We, um, we have a great program um, called PrEP, which is a once a day pill or a once every other month shot that can actually prevent HIV by 99%. Wow, amazing how medical advancement yeah. has really helped. Um, now tell us about the AIDS Walk. What are you doing this year? Um, so we're super excited, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, we're super excited to welcome everybody back um, this Saturday, so June 17th. Um, everything's gonna kick off at 8 a.m. We have a great um, morning workout from Street Jams Hawaii, um, some Zumba, we have the Gay Men's Course of Honolulu, we have some local drag entertainers. So we have a lot of different like entertainment aspects that are gonna be happening. We're just excited to have the entire community really just come back together to get, and just really celebrate the community. And it really is a kind of this time of the year where you want to raise awareness again about, you know, because there are risk factors. You want to mm -hmm. remind people that it hasn't completely gone away. What do you want people to know about, you know, the fight against uh, AIDS? You don't want anyone else getting it, I'm assuming, yeah? Yes, um, I think what we mainly, our main line that we want people to remember is that HIV is not over. Um, you know, we don't have a cure. There are still people becoming infected every day. Um, and it's something that they're gonna have to live with for their entire life. So although we've made medical advances in the past two decades, three decades, but we still haven't found a cure. So there's, we still need to get, come together. We still need to raise money. We need to support the people that are living with HIV and all the people that are becoming newly infected as well. Okay, and we ha we'll have that information again. Uh, invite our folks out there. It's June 17th. Yes, Saturday, June 17th. Um, everything kicks off at 8 a.m., but the walk actually starts at 10 a.m. Okay, over at Kapiolani Park. At Kapiolani Park. Wonderful, all right. Thank you so much, Andrew Ogata with uh, Triple HRC joining us this morning.